Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Somewhere by the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco, my city, a new roadway is under construction. The project is called Presidio Parkway. When it's done, it'll give you a much smoother, safer drive along a corridor designed to withstand the anticipated earthquake load. So how might it look? It might look something like this. But that's how it will look in 2014, roughly three years from now. At the moment, if you go to the project site, this is more likely what you'll find. That doesn't mean, however, that you cannot drive on that new road right now. True, you can do it right now. But to do that, you'd have to go to Autodesk Gallery in San Francisco to explain what is known as the Drive Simulator, now on exhibit at the gallery. Here is the gallery's on-site curator, Jason Metalcats. Hi, I'm Jason Metalcats, the curator of the Autodesk Gallery at One Market. And I'm here today with the Presidio Parkway Transportation Simulator. This is a one-of-a-kind tool that allows the project team, the designers and the engineers, to really experience this project virtually before it's ever built. This is a very immersive experience. Uh, I'm seeing uh, what I would actually see when I drive this road once it's completed. Uh, I'm also hearing the sounds that I would hear and feeling it in my seat. And everything we're seeing here, from the guardrails to the light posts to these new tunnels in the roadway are shown exactly as they're designed and ultimately will be built. So we see a lot of detail here. You'll notice that the guardrails and a lot of the light stanchions are painted international orange to match that beautiful iconic color of the, of the Golden Gate Bridge. You might even say that this project is the intersection of several different Autodesk technologies. The road is designed in Autodesk Civil 3D. The substations along the roads, complete with electrical and mechanical systems, they are designed in Autodesk Revit, an architectural modeling package. And the photorealistic renderings, they are created in Autodesk 3DS Max. Now all these different data formats come together in Autodesk Navisworks, a software platform for visualizing what is known as integrated projects. As for the drive simulator, it uses Unreal Engine. It's a game engine that is used to create realistic, responsive, dynamic driving experience for one in the passenger's seat. Proposing public roadway projects in 3D, obtaining agency and transit authority approvals based on those animations, and using the same asset for public outreach, they're all becoming the norm, not just something only pioneering firms are doing. So if you want to try out the drive simulator, visit the Autodesk Gallery in San Francisco open to the public every Wednesday. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong from Desktop Engineering Magazine going for a drive on Presidio Parkway.